Hi everyone, so we've got the last part of Lash Lift today and today we are going to be talking about why you may not see the good results and the aftercare. With a lash lift, you can achieve these amazing results if the lash lift is done properly. But sometimes you may not see as good results and I'm gonna tell you some of the reasons why is that. So one of the first reasons would be hormones. If your client's hormones are up and down, then you may not see good results. We never know what is the real reason, but if you do the lash lift properly, then hormones might be one of the things. Another thing would be expired product. So when you open the bottles, I would use them within probably three to four months. Um, otherwise the product can go very weak and you might not see, not see good results anymore. So always make sure that your product is uh, still up to date. Next reason would be the silicone placement. So like I was teaching you already in the previous video, your silicone shield has to be placed as close to the lash line as possible. Another reason would be too much adhesive. If you apply quite a lot of adhesive, then adhesive is going to create blockage and the product will not get to the lash. One of the other reasons could be also applying lotion. So if you apply lotion too high and not close enough to the roots, then you may not see good results. And also the times. Uh, if you do uh, not long enough, uh, then again, you will not see any results. Um, with thin lashes, you would rather do less time and with really thick lashes, you can do much longer. So for example, the product, uh, what you be using, let's say, uh, you've got between 12 to 15 minutes for permanent and fixing lotion. So for someone who's got thin lashes, you would do 12 minutes, but for someone who's got really naturally thick lashes, you would do 15 minutes. Another reason could be poor aftercare. So that's gonna bring us straight to the aftercare. It is very important that you're gonna explain aftercare to your client so she knows what she can do straight after the lash lift. So the next thing what she cannot do would be probably to get them wet for the next 24 hours. With some of the products, you can get them wet because we're also using water to remove all the lotions, so they would be wet at the end anyway. But I know some of the brands, you don't use the water to remove the product at the end. So the last lotion would stay on. So all depends what brand you are using. You need to know what is the aftercare. Tell her to avoid steam room, sauna, jacuzzi for the next 24 hours. And another thing would be mascara. We always advise not to put mascara straight after the lash lift. Just wait first 24 hours because the product uh, in the mascara may weaken the final results. So this one was very quick. I hope you've really enjoyed the whole week of our training manual. If you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to uh, write a little comment and we are more than happy to help you. My dog wanted to say hello. Hello. <laughs> If you do want to purchase our courses, uh, they are going to be written in the comments as well. All the links for our website, uh, for our Instagram. So feel free to check uh, the comments and uh, I will see you next week.